Hello friends, this video is in continuation with my earlier video on solubility test. As discussed in that video, organic compounds are classified into four groups depending upon their chemical nature as acids, phenols, bases and neutral. We have discussed already how to find out nature of organic compound if it is insoluble in water. But then what to do if compound is water soluble? So let's check how you will find chemical nature of water soluble compounds. So let's start. Whenever organic substance is given to you for identification, uh, you first observe color, odor and state of compound and then you go for solubility test. First thing, check solubility of substance in water. So take small quantity of substance in test tube and add some water to it. Shake well. Now let's assume that given substance is water soluble. Friends, please take pen and notebook and write each test. On every slide, I have given you table in test observation inference format. So this will help you in writing your journal. Now listen carefully. If your substance is soluble in water, you will use this solution for all further tests. So when I am saying solution, that means your substance dissolved in water. So first you have to test this solution with litmus paper. First uh, take blue litmus paper and dip into solution. If blue litmus turns red, you will say that given substance is water soluble acid or phenol. Now uh, deep red litmus paper and observe color of litmus paper. If red litmus paper turns blue, uh, you will say that your substance is water soluble base. But then another possibility is that uh, there is no effect on both litmus paper. So in this case, our conclusion is water soluble neutral compound present. When you take litmus test, if your observation is that uh, blue litmus paper turns red, then you have to take two more tests uh, to find out whether your compound is water soluble acid or phenol. Test your solution first with sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate. So add uh, sodium bicarbonate to solution. Uh, if you observe effervescence, you will say that water soluble acid present. Uh, but uh, in case uh, there are no effervescences, you will take next test. So test your solution with aqueous FeCl3. Add aqueous FeCl3 to solution and if you observe characteristic color, you will say that water soluble phenol present. Now question is why? So again the reason is based on reactions. So effervescences in case of acid are observed due to a liberation of gas that is carbon dioxide and in case of phenol uh, complexes form uh, because of which we observe characteristic coloration. You uh, many times uh, you will be asked questions on this uh, in your viva. So this is uh, how you will write uh, your observations in and inferences in journal. Uh, this is a concept chart giving total overview of how to take solubility test. Here we complete our discussion on uh, solubility test.